easy finger style songs for beginners. This is song number two. This song sounds complex, but it's really very easy. We're only using, at most, two finger chords on the left hand. So check this out. All right, that's the A section of the song. There's three other sections. The secret to this whole song is the tuning, and let me show you how to tune the guitar for this. All right, we're gonna start out in standard tuning, and we're gonna detune four of the strings. We're gonna detune the top E string. We're gonna pull that down to a D, string one. And then this B string right here, we're gonna tune it down to an A sharp. the G alone, we're going to leave the D alone, the fourth string. We're going to tune the uh, this A note down to a G. And we're going to tune this bottom note down to a D, the sixth string. So it has a very minor sound to it. So before we go any further, go ahead and download the sheet music right here. Click on that button and then come on back and hopefully your guitar is in tune. I've included three pieces of sheet music here for you guys. And one of them is the rudimentary beginner version where we're just playing the thumbs. We're not doing anything on the right hand, we're just plucking the thumbs and we're plucking, if you're looking at the sheet music and you know how to read tab, we're just going strings five and strings three. This is measure one, strings five and three. Okay, so there's four notes that we're playing in each measure of this for the bass notes. Let me count this out for you. It counts out like this. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, so real slow, I hope you have your guitar with you still. One, two, and three, and four. 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 All right, so practice with the thumb. It's okay to stay on that for a while. As a matter of fact, it's probably a good idea to really just work on just the thumb because that's the foundation of your good rhythm. It's like your bass notes and everything. And if that's not in good time or in good groove, the, the whole thing sounds off. So don't be afraid to practice that uh, for quite some time before we move on to this next section, which is adding some melody notes. All right, I'm looking at the sheet music for uh, number two, Valley View A and B, adding one melody note. Uh, we're gonna just ramp this up a little bit here. So measures one through four is simply called a vamp. We're kind of revving up to be able to go ahead to play the song, kind of like an intro, okay? And actually it's called an intro vamp. What a clever idea. So it's just simply this. Measure two. five is this. Okay, that's the first notes of measure five. I'm plucking the fifth string with my thumb and the first string with my middle finger, plucking them both together. And I'm forming this chord on the left hand. And this is simply four frets up on the second string with our index finger and five frets up with our middle finger 
like so. It looks like a D chord, doesn't it? Okay, the regular D chord looks like this in standard tuning. And, but in this tuning right here, this chord actually forms a G chord, okay? So I don't want you to memorize the names of these chords that I have listed here. As a matter of fact, that's detrimental because then you go ahead and you change back to standard tuning and you go ahead and play this chord and say, ah, that's a G5. No, it's not a G5, okay? The tuning is determining what these chords are as well as our finger positions, all right? So important to just memorize these chord positions. This is kind, looks kind of like a D chord, only we're on different strings and we're not using this finger. So I have that listed there just to help you with knowing where your finger should be on the left hand. But the tablature, of course, tells you that as well. On measure five, we're going, this is what it sounds like. It sounds like this. Measure six, same thing. So let me count that out. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So a little faster. The counting would be really fast with this. One, and two. Measure seven is the same chord, only slid down to the second fret and the first fret, okay? Same chord position, only like this, okay? And it's played like this, okay? Measure eight is, all we're doing is we're lifting our finger off from measure eight. So measure seven is this. For measures 9 through 12, we're doing something a little different that we haven't done before. We're going to be leading that melody with our index finger rather than the middle finger, okay? So instead of plucking this with our middle finger, the second string, as you could see on the tab in measure 9, the first note, we're going to be plucking it with our index finger, and we're going to be plucking um, also the thumb on the fifth string. So it's two frets up see the chord diagram and we're just doing this that's all measure 9 measure 10 is so measure 9 is this and I like to keep both fingers down here because we're going to go back we're going to need that index finger down here, and it's probably a good idea to just leave it down there if you could. Measure 10. Measure 11. Gets a little tricky here. We have to get our index finger on the fourth string. So let me explain measures 11 and 12 to you in a little bit better detail. In measure 11, the first difference between that and the other measures is we're hitting different bass notes. Instead of going 5 to 3, we're going 5 to 4. And the reason we're doing that is we're getting out of the way of the melody that's climbing down. Okay, that's measure 9, measure 10, measure 11, and measure 12. And all those melody notes are being led by our index finger. Okay, so let me just play that real slow and just pay attention first, I guess, pay attention over here to the, uh, the bass notes that I'm playing. This is measures 9 through 12. attention to my index finger.
So you could see that because we had to hit that melody on that fourth string right there, that we had to get the thumb out of the way. So that's the reason why the thumb shifts, okay? So 9 through 12, again, sounds like this. Alright, so in the sheet music I've continued past uh, the A section, I went into the B section. If you want to be adventurous and go ahead and, and do that on your own, that would be great. It's not that much different than the A section, except it's all in minor and some slight changes with our hand positions. It's actually easier. There's even less two-fingered chords. There's one-fingered chords, but all the same stuff down here on the right hand. All right, so if you want to get that, just go ahead right there and download that stuff. Let me play this real slow for you. This is just the A section, me measures 1 through 22. 1, 2, 3, 4. tag all right so I hope you're gonna have fun with this and I'll see you in the next video we'll be working on the uh, final version of it next week and in the meantime have fun practicing and check out some of these other videos that are all over the place here and we'll see you in the next video. Happy picking.